Hey everybody, so as requested from some viewers, I'm going to be talking about the Japanese boxing style along with Noya Inoue to provide as an example. Also, shout out to this one commenter who provided a whole essay about the Japanese boxing style in the comment section of one of my videos, which almost made me throw away this video idea, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Japanese boxers are known to be highly technically skilled and tough as fuck. They have historically excelled in the lower weight divisions such as flyweight, super flyweight, and bantamweight. Because they fight in the lighter divisions, they rely more on speed, agility, and quick movements to outmaneuver their opponents and evade their punches. They often fight with a classic traditional style, using a solid high guard defense whilst also relying on precise counterattacks. Like the Mexicans, they fight with a high forward pressure and they like to throw big power shots using hooks and uppercuts. Although they are similar in this aspect, the difference between the Japanese and Mexican boxing style is that Japanese boxers tend to prioritize more on technical skills such as footwork, timing, accuracy, and they also tend to throw more jabs, whereas Mexican boxers rely more on high aggression and are typically brawlers. It's worth noting that this boxing style can vary amongst Japanese boxers and are not conformed strictly to what I've just described. These characteristics merely define the overall perception of the Japanese boxing style. Over the past few years, there have been several great Japanese boxers such as Junto Nakatani, Fighting Harada, and Yoko Gushiken. But like I said earlier, for this video, I would like to use Noya Inoue as my prime example for the Japanese boxing style. Noya Inoue, also known as the Monster, is a highly accomplished boxer who competes in the lower weight divisions and has won all his 24 pro fights including 21 of them by way of knockout. He also has an impressive amateur record of 75 wins including 48 KOs and only 6 losses. He typically fights with an aggressive fighting style and would usually start off by targeting the body with straight punches. With his great sense of precision and timing, he's able to land his jabs and straight body shots cleanly. Once his opponents become overly responsive from the body shots, he will then use a wide variety of strike variations which would include frequently mixing up the punches to the head and body. From here, the opponent will constantly be second guessing as to what's coming to them. Confused and overwhelmed, they often just end up covering up in a high guard. Oftentimes, he would take advantage of this by targeting the liver with his long lead left hook. He does very well on capitalizing his opponent's mistakes, which further leaves his opponents on edge. He often also uses combinations and volume punching to split the guard of his opponent and create openings. In his fight against Desmarinas, I was blown away by how accurate his punches were, especially his last punch when he knocked Desmarinas out with a liver shot. This was crazy because Desmarinas was trying his best to cover up his right rib, yet Inoue was still able to somehow get him with that punch while his elbow was so tight on his ribs. His inside fighting is also impressive as he uses arm control and footwork to avoid the clinch and just bulldozes his opponents with hooks and uppercuts. While he's fighting on the inside, he normally likes to grab and take control of his opponent's arm to nullify their attacks which in turn also enables Inoue to set up his own openings and attacks. It also can't go without mention that despite his small stature, Inoue's most significant strength is his immense punching power. He generates a tremendous amount of power in his punches, often resulting in devastating knockouts. His knockout ratio is highly impressive, especially for somebody in his weight division. Lastly, while he's known for his amazing offensive skills, his defensive skills is just as impressive. He displays great head movement and footwork. His exceptional footwork works hand in hand as he can remain his balance and overall fluidity as he's performing the head movements. His defense also often transitions seamlessly into powerful counter punches, catching his opponents off guard. He often slips to the right and counters with his rear right uppercut. He especially does this when he sees his opponents overextend themselves. Honestly, I think Noya Inoue is definitely one of the best fighters ever to fight in the bantamweight division and I truly believe he wipes the floor with everybody he's put up against. Gonna be honest with y'all, before I started making this video, I don't know much about the Japanese boxing style, but when I delved into it, it was definitely something that caught my interest. I found this other Japanese boxer besides Inoue that I was extremely impressed by, 
and I think I did mention him earlier. He's a rising star by the name of Junto Nakatani, and I definitely recommend to give his fights a watch. It's really unfortunate that these guys receive less praise and attention due to the weight division they fight in because they're truly talented and have worked so hard to get to where they're at. Comment down below on your thoughts and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to support me. And that's going to be it for the video. Peace.